this video, you'll see how to make a butt joint on this extra wide hood of an Audi R8. This technique comes in very handy when the film isn't wide enough, there are no natural breaks, or the film has to go in a certain direction, like with brushed metallic. The 3M knifeless tape that will be used in this demo is design line and 6mm tri line. After cleaning the hood, run the 6mm tri line from top to bottom. It's extremely important to line the outside edge of the green tape to the body line of the hood. Pull from the roll and keep the tape symmetrical from top to bottom. Repeat the same steps for the corresponding body line on the other side. And this is how step one should look. Now it's time to apply the wrap material. Standard application techniques can be applied and the focus only has to be on the area within the tri line. With the material on, it's now time to release line two. To do this, pull the tri line up and away, cutting lines one and three. Then release line two from top to bottom. Once the liner is released, pull away the excess material, the outside section of the tape, and line three at the same time. Leave the tape and line one that is still under the material. This is essential for the technique to work properly. Repeat the same steps for the corresponding side, and here's how the tri line should look at the end of step one. Next, apply the outside panels of wrap material. The key is to place as little tension on the butt joint area as possible, so pull the material flat without heat. Lock it in place, then work to the curves. Repeat the same steps for the other side. Squeegee the film firmly onto the surface to ensure proper bonding. And here is how the overlap section should look. Now it's time to release line one, and be sure to pull perpendicular all the way down as this is key for the butt joint to fit properly. Remove the excess film, and this is how it should look. Three layers on top of each other. Green tape, material, and green tape. To create the butt joint, release the tape that is under the inside panel, pulling low and flat away. For the other side, release the tape and the material at the same time. And again, pulling as low and flat away as possible. Next up, lightly squeegee the edges together. Work from the first panel applied towards the second panel. The edges will be close to each other, but not a perfect butt joint. This is because the material was micro-stretched when the tape and material was pulled out from underneath. To form a perfect butt joint, heat should be applied, as this will trigger a slight memory effect. The two edges will shrink back together just slightly, and then use a finger to seal them perfectly together. It's best to work in two to three inch increments from one side to the other in order to get the perfect butt joint. And here's how it should look when completed. Repeat the exact same steps for the other side. Release line one, remove the inside tape, then remove the outside tape and material, lightly squeeze you together, heat and seal to create the perfect butt joint. And now this is the halfway point three panels with a butt joint along the symmetrical body lines. Before applying the top panel, clean the base layer with a degreaser. Next, run design line from top to bottom along the body lines. This time, run the design line exactly on the body line, which means it will run about a quarter of an inch on the outside of the butt joint. With the design line set on the body lines, it's time to apply the overlay piece. Use standard installation techniques and if working on films with low surface energy, like matte or textured films, try to avoid picking the wrap material up and down too often as it can release the knifeless tape from the surface. With the material in place, it's time to release the design line. This is a standard pull. Remove the excess film, then pull the green tape out and away from the main panel. Be sure to seal the edge by squeegeeing and heating. Repeat the exact same steps for the other side, and this is how it should look. The top panel now covers the butt joint, and because the edge perfectly lines up with the body line, it disappears, creating a seamless finish. And here's a bonus tip. Instead of applying the extra panel on top of the main section for the seamless look, stop when the two butt joints are created. Place 9mm tri line directly over the butt joint from top to bottom. Once in place, release line 2, which leaves line 1 and 3 behind. Place a strip of wrap material on top of the tri line from top to bottom and squeegee it into place. Once the film is secured, release either line one or three, but not both at the same time. 
Remove the excess film, then pull the green tape low and flat away. It's extremely important before pulling the other line to lock the film into place by firmly squeegeeing it down. Then release the remaining line. Remove the excess material and pull the green tape low and flat away and then squeegee the stripe firmly into place. Add heat to get the adhesive layer flowing onto the bottom layer and here's how it should look. The two red stripes hide the line of the butt joint and because the edges of the butt joint fit perfectly together, the line disappears making it look like the stripes were placed over a seamless hood. And here's the butt joint technique overview. This technique now gives installers no limits when making a seamless color change wrap on any vehicle. The key is to use the body lines to hide the edge and the 6mm tri-line works better than the 9mm. For the seamless butt joint technique, keep in mind that it requires 20 to 60% more material so build that into cost and install times. And one of the best parts of the butt joint technique is that it produces high quality and keeps installers from trying to overstretch panels to fit which helps ensure long term quality and durability. For more information on 3M Nifos tape, you can go to this link. And if you're interested in taking a 3M Nifos workshop or become a 3M Nifos endorsed, you can click here. This video has been proudly produced by the Rep Institute.